All right, we got uh, another couple rooms that we're gonna do here today. Uh, looks like we're gonna start down here in the master bedroom first, and then we're gonna go upstairs to the other bedrooms. So in here, there was just very few pieces of tax strip that needed to be replaced, unlike yesterday. So we're able to get started on this right away. Let's get to it. a little bit by the door and from here right over there and that was it all the rest of this stuff was nice obviously I went around and reinforced everything but at least it wasn't like it was yesterday way away from the walls and door jams gapped and everything like that so I like that it's I can live with that so that's good we got this thing Ready to go, let's get some coffee. bedroom done come up here fixing to do another room this one's got it's kind of cut up a little bit let's turn around and take a look at it okay so basically got three closets because we got one there then a cubby then another closet all three of those are going to be seamed on uh i can't remember seems like i can't remember uh it's over 12 so Think it is i haven't honestly put a tape measure on it shame on me i went by the cuts this morning on the diagram and i have been regretting it ever since i did it was a disaster trying to figure out what to cut down there at the store and it was so close down there it was pathetic when i was working in that master bedroom but same as i did yesterday i'll drop me a little piece right there in the corner Luke's already got this stuff cleaned up, tack strip out where it needs to be out while I was down there making that seam. Then we stretched it in together. So get this little bit of tack strip done in here and reinforce everything else with the underlayment gun. And you can see one inch staples is what I'm using for the tack strip and about every two inches apart. So it holds really well really well and i got one of those uh california air tools ultra quiet air compressor so it's not terribly loud I'm running that bad boy in the client's house plus whenever i'm doing something like that i leave the door on to the bedroom until i get all the noisy stuff done or until i absolutely have to pull it for instance to make a scene right there that's just to keep it quiet throughout the house so i can be respectful get my stuff done without disturbing them Talk a little bit. Oh, killy dokily. Fixing to strip. I mean, 
fixing to make seams in this one. I'm gonna put a fill right here. Then I gotta seam that, that, and that. Tie my stuff up here. Get, get closet back. Stretch up yarn way. Make that seam. Tie that wall off. Stretch toward me. Get that down. Boom, boom, boom. Do all this stuff over here. Then finish stretching that way. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I forgot to get footage before I left. What it got done was, uh, I didn't get that upstairs room completely done. I got stretched over three of the, three of the doorway seams made. I got one seam left to make in that room and I can finish stretching it in to motto Modi. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to the daily vlog until tomorrow. ESB is out.